Hey everyone, Vanessa Joy, wedding and portrait photographer, and I'm putting together an engagement album design right now, so I thought you might want to watch. When I start designing anything, I actually have an in-person sales session with the couple. With the wedding one, I do pre-design, but engagement sessions, I actually show them all of the images, all the images. Let's go, where are we? No, all images view. Never mind. I apparently have no idea how to do my own crap. Oh, okay. There we go. I go into all uh, images and we go through all the photos one by one doing a yes, no, maybe system. This is end view. This is how I do my in-person sales. So it actually gives them a really nice screen for them to look at as we go through the yes, no, maybe. So we have super favorites that we have for wall art and then we have all the rated images that are yes, no, maybe. And there are some that are unrated. Those are just no's. Working off of all of their yeses, I actually, you can download just the file names and then look at them here in your own system. Uh, this is photo mechanic. So I actually have all of their favorites marked as red. And then I take a look, I'll just make those all go away. So these are all their favorites. Then I take a look at all of their no's kind of side by side, or I'm sorry, all of their maybes side by side with their yeses. And I just see if there's anything that is missing. So I kind of look through and go through and just see if there's anything in their maybes that will be a really good addition. Maybe something they're missing a part of the day or what would look good together in a sequence over here. So the only one was this one I thought was a good addition because it was just different from these other two that they chose and it was also vertical. So that would probably end up looking good on a page. Okay, enough about that. Let's close that out here. These are my pricing. If you want to see it, you can just go to vanessajoy.com forward slash portrait collections. Anyway, from there, I am using Fundy and I'm going to go into new project and I'm going to give them fake names just so you guys don't. Oh, their names are already right there. Never mind. <laughs> All right, so this is Heather and Steven. No. Uh, so I'm going to just click and drag all of the yeses and that one maybe I pulled in uh, and there's 99 pictures. So that's a good chunk if I had my way and you know, they kept all those in there and went with the album design, it would end up being most likely I would say 40 to 50 pages. I know that sounds really large, but if they love all their photos, you kind of want them printed because unless they're printed, they're not going to look at them. Some of these are duplicates. You can see them as they come in. Some are black and white and color, and then some are you know, both black and white and color of the same photo. So that'll narrow it down a little bit. And I will say 50 pages. I've done engagement albums that large, but they will probably narrow it down a little bit. So just kind of keeping that in mind as I go through the album design, I will narrow some down if things look too repetitive. Um, I do like when it tells a sequence of a story though. So we'll get to that. So these are all of the different uh, photos are now imported and I have to decide what module here in Fundy that I want to use. Let's go ahead and maximize that. I'm going to go into new album and just depending on where I end up getting it printed, I don't actually know where I'm going to get it printed. So right now I'm just going to go with Miller's, which is uh, my lab of choice and let's go with thin pages. I do like thick pages, but if they end up with an album that's over a certain number of pages, they have to do thin. So I tend to just design it on thin. I don't ask them what album cover that they want, by the way, which is why I'm kind of wishy-washy about this. It's not a huge difference in how I design the album. So you can always go back and change it. I will design for an eight by eight. Most people's engagement albums are an eight by eight and I just design it with a basic cover. I guess I could put the acrylic. Let's just put the acrylic in there for fun. Cause then you get to actually design the session. You get to actually design the cover of it. So you see the cover right there. Okay. From here, I choose the auto design method. I do not want to put these all in one by one. So I would like Bundy to do that work for me. So I go ahead and make sure this is clicked all images, 99 images, one to five per spread, about 50 pages to design. The album style is album versus like a signing book where they leave a lot more, um, a lot more room in there, a lot more negative space. 
and oh, all right. And it's obviously, it's not a family design. It's not a baby design. I can download more types of designs, by the way, like basically auto, auto designs. And these are just some examples of magazines, you know, it's not my style the way that these are, but definitely something to look at all the different types of albums that they have. So let's close out of that uh, aspect. I like doing the original aspect ratio and then there's accent images that they would potentially, you know, make not the exact ratio, but you can set that however you want. If you want to make sure they're all you know, all images keep the original ratio, or if you don't care, you know, those are things to choose. Entire collection, and then image order by capture date, or you do by file name or custom order. So that's pretty much it. It's gonna tell you on the side, it's gonna be about 3.96 images per spread, which means I really probably should hit 60 here. And then that's probably gonna give me a nicer, cleaner album design, which is my goal. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit design, and then it is going to design the album for me in a second. Ta-da, there it is. So from here, what I wanna do is just finagle a whole bunch of things. One of the first things I actually do is I come up to uh, my settings, and I like having my image spacing a little bit more. So I make this 2.5 just gives a little bit more buffer in here, which to me makes it a cleaner image. The first thing I do when I'm going through and I'm just arranging to make sure things look good, I'm of course making sure that no one's faces like this picture right here is going, you know, the seam is going right through their face. So that's one thing I'm looking out for. Also making sure everything is cropped nicely. You just click and drag. It's pretty easy. This is a good example of that accent image, right? Where it just cropped it to center. Uh, it's not the original ratio, but it really looks good. I would say that this picture would look great over here. So I'm also looking for sets like this kind of sequences. And I tend to like those to go better. Now you do want to make sure that you understand what your couple likes and what you like really. So for this page right here, it has bleeds going on the outside. I tend to like a more symmetrical and centered look. So those are adjustments that I would make right there. And then that page looks great to me. Another thing I do when I'm going through all these is I'm going to, I'm going to look for pictures that are going to look good as a full page. And these might be the ones that they really like. Like I know they really liked this picture. So I'm going to drag that into the empty space and that's a perfect full spread right there. I'm going to scroll down, see if I can find some more. This is another great one that I know will easily make a good full spread. And I like breaking up the album that way so that you have some with a lot of pictures on it because it's cute. Like this, this little sequence right here, there's a billion and a half of the dog. I will probably narrow those down, um, but they love those. Um, but it's a good way to break up the album, have some pages with one picture on it, some pages with a ton of pictures on it. And you kind of, you want to bounce back and forth and you never want to have two of the same design in a row. So for example, I would not want these two right in a row because it's one, two, three vertical, one, two, three vertical, and that is repetitive. And as they go through, they'll want to delete that because it just doesn't make much sense. That might be a good one. Actually, I don't like that one, but I know they like this one. So maybe we'll stick that there. All right. So I'm just going to go through here and talk you through the entire process. Um, I don't know where to start with the uh, entire process. <laughs> let's see, let's put the dog down here. So this is the cover of the album. I'll probably just put in a single picture, one that I know they really like, which I know this one they really like, and that is a perfect cover photo. Let's do some other things. I think these will look great here. Yep, and now, so I wanna mix this up. We can mix up the design style, right? So actually that was perfect. This design I don't particularly like. I think we might need another picture there. Let's let's throw some of these over here. So you can see right away, I really very quickly <laughs> decide what pictures I like. You know what, this is a good setup, I think. All right, see how I, I moved that one there? Because I don't want two of the same picture right above each other, but if you kind of, oops, if you kind of catty corner them, then I think that breaks it up a little bit nicer. And this is a good picture for here. Maybe, I tend, I think I like this picture better. I don't know, some things I'll leave for them to decide. I'm also going to 
do this so we can see the full picture and center that up. And then we can delete pages. So I'm just going to delete that there, delete that there. Is, you know, as much as I want to sell the more pages in the album, because obviously, yes, I make more money when that happens. I don't want it to be, I don't want it to be overwhelming to them. I don't want it to be, you know, obnoxious. <laughs> there we go. That looks good. Those are fine. And I'm also, it doesn't have to be in chronological order either. You know, sometimes I'll skip around. My main goal is that everything looks like it matches. So these are all really pretty pictures. I know they loved all of these. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and hit fit. Mm. Yeah, but let's keep it vertical because I really like that sun flare that popped in there. Cool. Maybe that one should be the bigger one. Yeah, if they're facing me, I tend to like that to be bigger because it's almost weird when it's smaller. I think let's do this. Nope, not that. Now, if I want to notice that bar, I can just click and drag. So I think what I'll do, make those kind of square. I actually want these two to be square. Let me look at the layouts and pop in here and look at the layouts, get some ideas. Mm, I like this. Yes. One, two, cute. It's kind of fun when it changes some of the aspect ratios just makes it a little bit more interesting of course now this picture which i really love of them i don't know where to put hmm maybe i'll put that here and then this picture <laughs> under there delete that yeah these look cute and then again i don't know about you guys but maybe as a photographer i just tend to like to see my, the whole picture i took <laughs> Yeah, something like that. Cool, that looks good. This is slightly off my safe line. There we go. <laughs> okay, so these two are a ton of the dog. So I think I'm gonna put most of them on one page and then two of their favorites, which I think these two were their favorites. So let's just, yeah, they'll love that. You know what, maybe, yeah, let's do that. And then these all look super cute together. Okay, so that's it. I like this four up, especially since like it's far away, close, far away, close. It kind of makes your eye bounce, right? And it makes you look at things differently. You know what? They probably would love this as a black and white and a full page. So what I'm going to do, just make this a little bit asymmetrical. Oh, I love that. Oh my gosh. I'm going to keep the color one in there too, because I have a feeling they wouldn't mind both. All right. These two look good. This is going to go in black and white. So we'll just adjust that there. Maybe keep this square. Yeah. Good, good. This is not good. That's through their face. So let's see what else we can do here. Yep. Perfect. And again, I don't like the asymmetrical so much, but that's objective. Good. Mm, now, okay, here's something to look at. See how they're looking at me here and here? They're going to look at this and go, oh, we can take a picture away. But if you just move that to there now you've separated the ones where they're looking and they're less likely to take a picture away i think she like that picture better so that's going bigger and then that looks better you know because it's funny if they're trying to save money then they'll take pictures away but taking one picture away doesn't necessarily do anything but it does sometimes totally kill the aesthetic of the album i think i'm gonna put that black and white like this you might notice these are kind of a little bit blurry. They're not in real life. They're just uh, smaller JPEG previews of the image. So that's how this moves around so fast. Okay, so that black and white picture is actually this one in color. Ooh, I don't know. What do you think? Color, black and white for this? Oh, I'm gonna go with color. I think I have to. Okay, so delete the black and white. Move this over here. Delete that page cool that looks good 
Nice. Hmm. This is a judgment call. This seam right here. Since it's not a cut, I don't know. Do we want to chop it at the seam? Let's just look at some other layouts, see if anything else strikes my fancy. I do like it how it is, but oh, this might be cute. Cute. Who says it like that? Cute. Okay. <laughs> enough of me today all right this is what needs to happen you go here and you go kind of in the center there i'm actually thinking you should go a little bit more vertical that looks a little better oh, down what are you oh yeah down okay so right there was this a no that was a horizontal so that looks good oh now I'm feeling better about this. Put that there. Do this here. And this I'm okay with. That line right there. I think that's better than having it right through right through the kiss. Okay. Cool. I think we're doing good. If we just put that there. Now that looks good. This needs something else happen. Oh, perfect. Yes. I like what you've done with the place. They will love that attention for the dog. So let's just keep that. Oh, here's some that we weren't sure about black and white or color. It's actually a few black and white, so let's put the black and whites on one page while we put the color on another. Hmm, yeah, that looks good. Let's drag this over here since that's that scene. Oh, you know what? We don't need this or this because those are in the other ones. Now we have this lonely picture. We'll come back to that. Okay. These all look good. That looks awesome. Some of them I don't even, you know, click in, zoom in. All right, and now this is where we got a little crazy with the puppy. Oh, but see, actually, I don't mind this. These are all super cute. I would say the only thing that's kind of repetitive are these two, and I like this one down there. So I'm gonna delete that one. And you know what, this one and this one are, ah, oh, they're kind of repetitive, but I think they'll like both of those. So let's just leave that as is for now. You know, sometimes I'm just gonna make them make the decisions. <laughs> all right, we need an ending picture. All right, these are all tons of vertical pictures. Let's get rid of this black and white. And then those look cute. And you know what? This picture will go well with some of these. So let's take a look at all of these because a lot of these are similar. All of these are super similar, actually. I'm, those almost look exactly the same. Not sure what's happening there. Hmm, kind of half smile, no smile. This one, maybe not. Okay, now I feel better about this. And let's drag this picture to this scene. Delete that. Move this around. Hmm. Okay. You know what I think I want to do? These are all three vertical full length, and then these are all close up. So let's switch some things around. Let's do that. And let's. Um, let's hear how we have this one looking and this one looking that's gonna be kind of repetitive for them. So maybe let's stick that one as a smaller one, this one as the bigger one, and then this looks pretty good. And I think the last thing I just wanna do on this, this ended up being 60 pages because I love all these pictures. The last thing we wanna do is just kind of end it with a bang. So I usually just bring one of these full, light, full spreads to the end. So I think we'll just do that one as our closing. All right, and that's it. Now from here, I would export it. Um, a lot of times I do have them sit with me and do this, but this particular couple just wanted to look at everything. So I don't mandate that because um, it's not really as big of a deal going through engagement session photos. So for now, I'm just gonna export it for print put them all there, export all of them. And that way, in case they decide that they want to print it as is, it's already exported. And then I'm going to upload them. You could upload them to Fundy's online proofer. It's a great system for them to be able to make any changes that they want to it. Honestly, I prefer to do it with them live. So 
if they want any changes to this, I will likely ask them to do an appointment with me so that I can do the changes live in front of them. And the reason that is, is that it becomes more of a, a collaborative creative process so that we can go through everything together and they also learn along with me. So they are able to make some changes in the beginning, maybe learn from the changes that they're making and not make the same changes later if they figure out that, oh, I understand that doing this doesn't really work in the album and they understand ratios and they understand how the photos move around. So that tends to be a little bit more helpful. It's a little bit longer of a process, but if you think about going emails back and forth and changes back and forth, it's actually shorter of a process. So that is it here. I hope that you liked taking a look at the album design process. Uh, as you can see, it exported the cover here and then we have all of the different uh, album spreads. So I'll run through all these really quickly for you just so you can take a look. But that is the album design process and hopefully it's helped you just take a look at how I design, what photos that we're looking for, how I like to mix things up so you have you know, the pictures that they love, but also visually interesting layouts and <laughs> and why I make some of the decisions that I make. This was a really good day. This all, by the way, took about an hour to shoot. So just to give you an idea about an hour long session, engagement session, which is typical for me. And this is what you got. Not so bad. I'll see you next time. Make sure you hit subscribe, ring the bell. Bye-bye.